free pesto like sauce with me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is grab your store bought pesto and you are going to put it into a one cup measuring cup. Uh, and then we're going to um, wash that, grab a lemon, and we're going to juice it. Um, I recommend using one large lemon for this. Some seeds got left over in the bowl, but that's okay because we can just scoop them out with a spoon. Okay, so this next step is to peel your garlic. Um, I say only use like two, three, four cloves of garlic. Um, I personally like my pesto to be pretty garlicky or anything with garlic to have like a burst of garlic because i'm definitely a garlic girl um after this we're going to be cleaning up your space before moving on to the next step okay so we're going to add some oil olive oil to a neutral bullet or like whatever blender you're going to you have and uh we're just gonna add everything that we originally prepared into the nurture bullet so the lemon juice uh, basil garlic um, the after this we are going to grab some pine nuts um, I say put pine nuts like maybe after it's been blended uh, so like you can taste a crunch uh, but I didn't really think of that here um, and we're going to add some, uh, struggle to open a bag of nutritional yeast. Um, but I like nutritional yeast because it gives it that cheesy flavor without being, um, without having the lactose or dairy inside of it, which I love. The pesto honestly is a different consistency than I usually uh, have made it in the past, but it still tasted quite delicious. As always. Okay, so this next step, I am going to grab out the uh, spaghetti squash. I usually have this with gnocchi, but um, today I just wanted to switch things up a little. Be careful with taking spaghetti squash out of the oven because it can be quite hot. Um, this is me just scooping it into the bowl. I had a little bit of struggle uh, putting it in, into the bowl, so I got my mom to help me. I'm really thankful for that. Thank you, mom. So now we're going to be putting all of the pesto that we have prepared um, and we're just going to mix it up with the spaghetti squash. So I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper to this dish, but if you want to, you can add chicken or any other um, stuff if you'd like. <laughs> 